Hi everyone. A couple of weeks ago someone emailed me to ask if my IDE CD-ROM simulator would emulate a zip drive. I thought this was a pretty weird request at first, but out of curiosity more than anything I decided to reply. Turns out they did have a pretty good reason. They're users of the Roland SP-808, a sampler from around 2000 that uses zip disks to store samples on. This means that when you're making music the thing is also emitting a constant grinding from the ultra high density floppy disk, which is not that great when you're trying to make music. I thought it'd be a laugh to try, so I picked one up on eBay. After about six hours of work, it does seem to be fine, so here's a little demo, although I'm a total beginner at this, so apologies in advance. First, here's the CD simulator in place of the zip drive. I've left the bottom off, so it's just resting on the table in the cavity. I've inserted an SD card with a blank disk image, which the Roland will need to format, although you can use USB memory sticks as well, the same as when it's simulating an optical drive. Pairing it up, it takes a few seconds to scan through the SCSI devices. Now it detects my board and the disk image, and so it needs to format it. This takes a little while as I was trying a larger disk image here. So I'll fast forward through all of this. Finally it's ready, so I'll just use a music app on my iPad to generate some drum samples and have the Roland auto-divide them. As you can see, the samples were recorded can play back and you can record them to a track. There's still some work to do, particularly around performance. You can still get the disk busy message if you try and like play samples for like 60 measures whilst also recording. But overall it seems to be working. 